free tactical sheath with any purchase worth at least 50 gold. Kick some ass! So, you're a mage, right? I am a seer, yes. Does that mean you're not a mage? It means that my magic is primarily focused on communing with spirits, or acting as a conduit for them to speak through. Wait, you let yourself get possessed? On purpose? Ah, I forgot you were from Ferelden. Have you heard the rumor about a new Venatory spot somewhere uptown? I know someone in the area who's keeping watch. Find him in the library. Say you're looking for Ferdinand Genetivi's book on Orlais. Ferdinand Geni what? He's a Ferelden scholar. Virtually unknown in the north, and no one ever asks about his work. Oh, a passphrase. Got it. Brook? Things are going well. Lorelei, everything good? Same as always. You've done a lot for the city. Let's see if I can return the favour. Are you that rock person? I heard you back in the dragon. That's impressive. I forgot what I was going to say. Mirda. So you've had jobs where you killed your target, and then, surprise, they aren't dead. I've had a demon possessed the corpse immediately afterwards. Then we have the target to death, but try explaining that to the person who hired you. And there was an incident with someone who'd been impersonating the real target for years. We had to renegotiate who that contract was actually for. So the work's not so cut and dried. They all wound up dead in the end.
Get ready. Now the serving size is here getting smaller. there was something I could do. What could you do anyway? You're not a builder. Get in the way. Why did Morgan want to meet in Minrathis? Isn't she helping the Veil Jumpers in Arlathan? Indeed, but today we have a guest, and he needed the anonymity that only a city provides. Well, look who it is. Good to see you, Lace. Rook, you remember how Varric and I served the Inquisition? Well, this is Inquisitor Adar, the man who led us all. How many famous people do you know, Harding? Should I expect the, uh, Divine to show up? She also served in the Inquisition, but we didn't talk much. Morrigan and Harding have told me about what you've accomplished since taking over for Varric. You've put together an impressive team, and you've got the best chance, maybe the only chance, to stop Elganarn and Gilanane. We've been doing what we can, but I'll be honest. Right now it feels like we're in over our heads. You've already faced setbacks. You'll face more. Your actions will have consequences. Have you seen the blight all over Treviso? We know all about consequences. Such thinking is a trap you can ill afford. Treviso was blighted because of Elganon and Gilanane, but Minrathus was saved because of you. I wasn't ready to become the Inquisitor. I wasn't ready to have to choose between helping Templars or mages, or decide the fate of every Grey Warden in Southern Thedas. Eventually, when the choices I made caught up with me, I turned the Inquisition over to the Chantry, rather than create even bigger problems. Maybe someday you'll face the same situation. But I'm asking you not to worry about that future until we have one. Right now, we need you to stop the gods. All right. I'll do my best. And while you do so, Rook, the Inquisitor will do his best to ensure that the rest of the world remains intact. 
A daunting prospect, given that most of the South is under siege by Darkspawn. It's that bad? If not for the Inquisitor, the South would have collapsed completely. He has not been idle while you assembled your team. I thought the gods were mostly active up here. It's really that bad in the South. Elganon and Gilanane have indeed restricted their activities to the North. But the forces they deployed to the South, the strange new Darkspawn, have spread fear and corruption greater than any blight in history. Darkspawn have cut through the center of Orle. Balroyo and Halam Shirel are barely holding out. Ferelden would have fallen already if not for help from Orzammar. With Denerim lost, the Fereldens are holding the line at Redcliffe. The Free Marches have the worst of it. Acting Viscount Aveline Valen led the evacuation of Kirkwall. She's taking her people and what's left of her army to help Prince Vale keep Starkhaven. Maker, we didn't know. My ma... Don't worry. I talked to the Divine and your mother's safe with the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition might just be an arm of the Chantry now. But we've still done our part to get people to fight this threat together. Again, the South is my problem, not yours, Rook. You stop the gods, and I'll make sure the rest of Thedas doesn't fall to the Blight. If the South is in such turmoil, why come up here just to talk? And how did you get here so fast? Did you think you were the only one to unlock the secrets of the Alluvians? Morgan helped the Inquisition use the Alluvians to travel. While I lack the Dreadwolf's Vir of us, I may still scurry between the walls of this world to be where I might do the most good. The Inquisitor asked to meet you, and I thought it might help you to meet him. I've been having trouble getting people in authority to listen to us. If you help with some of your political strength... My political strength? Tevinter hates me. The Venatori helped make sure of that. And while I have a few friends in the Wardens, their leadership hasn't much cared for me since we clashed at Adamant Fortress. The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. He brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? We've found others like it in the crossroads. Where'd you find yours? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him, somehow. Solus is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. Right now, Solus is giving us the information we need to track down the gods. Yes. He is a vital source of information and advice, just as he was to the Inquisition before. He is the Dread Wolf. He led a rebellion that lasted centuries. How many alliances do you think he has made and broken? I considered Solus a friend. I'd hoped to convince him to see reason. It's too late for that now, but still. If this can give you some insight, help you understand him. Whatever it turns out to be, I hope that it helps. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. Rook. Good luck. If I come across anything else that can help, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. We should take a break. Head back to the lighthouse for a bit. Why don't you care about... Rook, just got word. First Warden's calling everyone back to Weishaupt. Everyone except me, seems like. Guess the First Warden didn't like me joining your team. Calling Wardens back from all over Thedas is a big step. 
Did he give any reason why? Not exactly, but I've heard rumors of a massive Darkspawn horde on the move. Even hearing there's an Archdemon with them. The timing can't be a coincidence. The gods must be behind this. I bet they are. Rook, if the gods have an Archdemon, Warden Lore says Archdemons only show up during a blight. Doesn't say anything about elven gods. Seems like the rules have changed, and we're going in blind. We need to know what we're up against. I'll talk to Solus. See if he knows anything about any of this. Make sure the others are ready to move. You cannot do this, Algernon. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mythal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Elvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dread Wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods? Well, mine and Davrin's. And Rook's. It's not every day you witness the start of a religion. I wonder if they're all this disappointing. I wish they were monsters. Something grand and terrible. Seeing them like that, they're no better than Tevinter nobles. But no worse, either. They were people. And people can let you down. All right. What else can we take from this memory? Elgrenon was hungry for power. Did anything he could to get it, and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elgonon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this. Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgonon over him. A betrayal. I think I get where Mithal is coming from. Really? You've just finished some big war, everyone is exhausted, and now Elganon won't give up power. If Mithal sided with Solus, would Elganon have backed down? Not a chance. It would have led to another war. Mithal tried to keep the peace. And Solus must see that, but still can't accept that she chose peaceful politics over his ideals. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regret. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept it in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change.
was not certain you would come. You were the one who walked away. I never turn my back when my friend needs me. The Avenue has seeked the magic of the Blight. Impossible. The Blight is safely sealed away forever. No, oh, I wish I could believe you. I have sensed the breaking of the wards. I will investigate your claims. If they forget the danger of the Blight, I will endeavor to remind them. What if, instead, you left the Evanuris and remained with me? Do you not wish for freedom from this struggle? Be at peace, love. I will stop them. As you must. The Blight is our mistake. Did Mithal call Solas love in that memory? That's what it sounded like. So they were doing it. The elven gods were free with their emotions. They felt things deeply. The way they expressed things, well, it feels romantic to us, but that wasn't really how it was. Back then, I mean. Nah, they were doing it. Oh, they were absolutely doing it. Being with someone you're rebelling against doesn't sound like Solus. He also met her in secret and talked about how they could run off together. It sounded so tragic and romantic. Oh, wait. Never mind. That does sound like him. So the Dread Wolf goes to Mathal. They might be fighting, but they have history. And he warns her about the other god using the Blight. That's more important than his rebellion. It's like kingdoms coming together when an archdemon rises. Mithal didn't think it was possible. She said the Blight was sealed away. There's an old legend about it. Davern, the one with Andruel's armor? Not sure it matters. We're deep in elven lore already. What's the legend say? Right. Well, Andruel was the goddess of the hunt. She put on armor, magic armor, made of something called the Void. Drove her mad. I remember this one. The other gods were afraid Andrul would turn on them. She was doing all kinds of horrible things, causing plagues. It does sound like the Blight. Well, it all ends with Mithal fighting Andrul. After, Mithal turned into a dragon. She what? Why didn't you start with that? Anyway, she took Andrul's armor away. Then Andrul's madness left, and peace returned. Intriguing. So it's possible Andrul stumbled onto the magic of the Blight. And when Andrul went mad, Mithal took it from her and locked it away. Until someone started using it again. Okay, Solus warns Mithal about the other gods using the Blight. It's not just bad, it's something bad he feels responsible for. The Blight was our mistake. How is the Blight their mistake? Did they find it? Did they make it? What does that mean? Whatever it was, it convinced Mithal to take him seriously. So Mithal goes off to investigate what Solus says. Then, what? It's too clean. Seems plenty messy with them doing it. But this isn't just a memory. It's something Solus wanted to hide. What's the crime? What did we see here that he feels guilty about? I think I might know. When the Inquisitor was saving the world from the Breach, he met Mithal. What? Like in a dream? It was complicated. She helped the Inquisition. There was a magic pond and a dragon. Nice! The point is, she also said the other elven gods betrayed her. Killed her. Okay, sorry. Point of order. If they killed Mithal, how was she still around to help the Inquisition? Elven god magic? She'd spent centuries gathering strength and sharing people's bodies, I think. If it was a truly benign possession, that speaks to her character. Solus goes to Mithal, the one semi-reasonable elven god for help, and the other gods kill her for it. I imagine the Dread Wolf's rebellion heated up significantly after that. Right. And Mithal wasn't there to keep the other gods in check anymore. It's not just that she died. What do you mean, Tosh? It's... Ugh. There was stuff he wanted to tell her. But he waited too long. And then she was dead. 
He never got to make it right. That twists you up. That's it. There's our crime. Doesn't really tell us anything we can use, though. We know more than we did. That's something. Then I guess we keep our eyes open if we come across more of these memories. Try to cage us, jealous of our growing power. You will pay the final price for this betrayal. We warned you not to use the blight. For this and for Mathol, I sentence you to sleep in exile ever after. Your own lives will form the veil that keeps the horror you unleashed at bay. So he locked the gods away and created a veil between this world and the Fade. I mean, they were terrible, no question. But what he did, it didn't just stop them. It destroyed our culture, our world. It wasn't just to stop them. It was to stop the Blight. We've seen how bad Elganon and Gilanane are. Imagine all seven corrupted gods running wild. So he created the veil just to keep the elven gods locked in their prison? Yes, to keep them from accessing the Fade, but was the creation of the Veil around the world an accident? You heard him yelling. That's not the sound of a ritual going right. What do you think, Rook? Honestly, I'm a little relieved. I've been feeling out of my depth trying to stop ancient gods. But Solus was flailing just as much as we are. I had another question, and I'm sorry, maybe this doesn't matter, but Solus trapped the Blighted Gods in an ancient elven building, right? That's what it looks like. Maybe a palace? Fancier than what I've seen in Arlathan, at least. And then, the Magisters were lured into the Fade. They broke in, which let the Blight escape, and turned the Golden City black. Right, and the Black City hangs in the Fade, a little reminder of their mistakes. What's wrong, Lace? It's just... the Chant of Light says that the Maker built for them the Golden City, the center of all creation. But if the Golden City was an ancient elven palace, then the Maker didn't build it. The Elves did. The Chant of Light is Andraste's visions from the Maker, but it sounds like it's... wrong. You're asking if we just disproved the entire Andrastian faith. Did we? The Maker was never my faith, Lace. But I don't think you have to give it up. But what they taught us was just wrong. What if the Maker just doesn't exist? The chance of light might be wrong. But it's been made and changed by people over a thousand years. There was a whole verse about an elf named Chartan, and the Chantry just cut it out. So maybe the Golden City was meant as a metaphor. Or maybe it was added because of politics. That might change the history, but it doesn't have to change your whole faith. The Dalish clans are struggling with the same thing. What do we keep? What do we lose? The Elven Gods, the Maker. No matter who you light a candle to, you've got some hard questions to ask yourself right now. Doctrine is not the truth. It is one of many paths to the truth. I recognize the sentiment, though not the specific quote. Who said that? My mother. Ah. Questions of faith aside, we have some very real gods that still need killing. Looks like there are three more of these murals with the Dreadwolf's old memories. Wonder what else he's hiding. <laughs> 